Hello, hello. Happy 2023. I am here today with the 2023 base build, and before I get into it, the second that I show it, I already know that some of the people that watch my base design videos every single year are going to be like, oh, it's some of the same shit, Dylan. Listen, I have a style to my builds, okay? But if I turn around, this is it. And now, the large furnace, right? That's, you know, like if you're used to making my base designs each year, you know that, what, there's a large furnace? It's optional. You don't have to add a large furnace onto it. I just... I want to have a large furnace inside my main base. I miss it. People used to do it years and years ago. Now we've got used to just putting large furnaces and, you know, just outside of our base, inside of our compound and um, inside of external furnace bases, right? But I thought, you know what? Let's add this thing onto this base and have it be accessible. So I have some of the starters and stuff over there. Yeah, like when you look at the starter of this thing, it's like, what is this? I tried to do something a little bit different this time. It's still a symmetrical looking base. This is how it looks like from the top. It's all triangles for the most part, except for uh, spots where the peak downs are. But yeah, here, I'm going to go going to give you a quick tour, give you a quick feel for the base, see how you like it. Um, and do keep in mind that the large furnace thing is optional. Anyways, though, I suppose let's go ahead and hop on in here and see how uh, see how we're all feeling about this. So you open up the door, you're greeted with a garage door, then a sheet door. Garage door obviously goes into the large furnace, which again is optional. You don't have to make this. I'm personally probably going to be doing it as a solo player because I tend to not always compound my base and whatever, right? And just having the large furnace be accessible from my main base and not having to run to, an, you know, to an external large furnace base and run back. I just feel like it's a little bit more convenient. It is a little bit less secure, though, because of the floor grills up there. It only is one C4 to raid this thing, so you'd have to be a little bit careful with how you use it. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep on going. My airlock area is the same thing that it's been for, like, a couple years now. It's honestly, at this point, it's just like a signature thing that I do. It's like when you see this airlock, you don't necessarily know that it's my base, but... There's there's a pretty high chance that it is one of my designs when it's just these four triangles Because this is some shit that I do every single year, right? Um, so when you go this way, we're gonna be going upstairs here pretty soon And then you're instantly greeted with a locker, which is behind a window You could replace th this window with a garage if you'd rather have that um, Then you could also put something else here, which I'm gonna get into once we get upstairs If you don't want a locker down here Then boom, four box of room right there And again, this is the completely final version, so... When I, when I show you the TC, or like the upkeep, don't get too, you know, drawn away from it. You have a large furnace here, okay? Then you come up here and actually three bags manage the fit. I did not know that you could put down a bag inside the vault seal. I did not know that, um, but I actually managed the fit one, which is pretty cool. So that's why this is a trio base, because I was barely able to do that. Which you could probably fit that bag up here somewhere. You just have to sacrifice some of the stuff, possibly the workbench. But then right here is TC. This is the uh, the, uh, the upkeep around 6k frags, 5200 stone, then 100 high qual. The high qual is not bad. Stone's not bad. The metal frags might throw some people off, especially solo players. Might be like 6k frags a day, Dylan. What like what do you expect of me? Listen, you might not even get to the point of having this entire thing maxed out. Okay, so you know. Plus, you have a large furnace. It's not too bad, okay? But, uh, yeah, then you have a four-box room here inside of the main vault. And, again, I'm going for something that's very, very compact and uh, a base where you cannot splash a lot, like a whole lot of loot rooms together. So I'm excited to get more into this and explain more on how the base works. So now we're going to be going upstairs, though, right? And we're instantly just greeted with a shit ton of garage doors. Left side electricity gotta have an electricity room here and i said that i was going to mention something uh, as soon as i get upstairs you could swap out the locker uh with this and replace the you know like like where you have the locker with the battery you could do that if you'd rather have your electricity down here do that locker upstairs instead next to your bed you could do that grade that the sheet <laughs> then you come over here then you have your computer station, repair bench. All the furnishing is up to you. You could remove both those and add two more good beds if you're a trio. I'm just a solo player, so I'm only going to have one good bed upstairs. So, um, But then you have four more boxes there, four more boxes here. Both these loot rooms are not splashable together. Then you can go upstairs again. And then at this point, we're at the window floor. And I'm going to be explaining a lot, lot more about this base and why I think... It's a lot better than a lot of my past bases. Then you come up here, you have armor door, armor door, which I'm probably not even going to have armor doors as a solo player on <laughs> on like my solo journeys up here, but probably better off having that shit downstairs on the front doors. But then you have your mixing tables up here. Uh, I managed to fit four. You could even probably fit more. You could put like another one like right here, depending on how many you know like you want to rock. But uh, you got the outer peaks that obviously see everywhere um, around the entire base. You also have these doors. Uh, there's two, 
or, or there's three total single doors up here that lead you to the outside. Two of them are just to scale down the walls on each side. But yeah, like you have like these peaks right here. And, and these do look all the way around the base. But then I did have to add a ladder hatch right here to look down inside this spot. You could not add this if you want. Then just add some metal barricades down there just so that no one can use that spot. Um, or add a ladder hatch. And that can also just be an extra way out and also a way to peek down and see that spot, right? But then over here, I ended up adding this door, which just kind of leads out to, you know, some sort of like balcony area. Whatever the fuck you... I mean, it's optional. You don't even have to do this. But, yeah, I thought that I would do it. <clears throat> Plus, this right here could also just be used to just, like, get down super quick and whatever, right? So, yeah. So, that's that. And then you go even higher up inside the base, which this right here is now the top floor. And I'm not going to be doing, like, showing, like, where, where to, like, put windmills and stuff. That's all up to you guys. Um, but you also have a mini copter spot right here to put your mini copter. And that's pretty much the base. And then there is one more thing that I must explain before I start getting into the starter of the base and how to build it and all that, right? So if you've been making my base designs for a minute now, you know that the second floor is vulnerable when, whenever they raid for TC on the outside. Because anytime that my base design has gotten raided, not anytime, but most of the time that it's gotten raided, they always just rocket splash to TC, right? So my TC is right here. So no matter where you rocket splash it from, whether if it's right here, right here, or right here, no matter what, they will get zero second floor loot or any second floor accessibility even. Um, they get no access to second floor due to the added honeycomb all over inside of second floor. Um, so I'm really happy with that change, although it does compact up the second floor a lot, lot more, which might throw some people off. But I just feel like when this base gets raided and, the, and like they just go for TC, because people are always trying to go for TC. I feel like second floor is going to be untouched a lot, lot more with this base. So spreading out your loot is going to be ideal. And a lot of it is not going to get touched again on second floor. Uh, especially if you have external TCs that save your base from getting griefed and all that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and head on over here to the starter. This is what the starter looks like. It looks fucking ridiculous. I know. Compared to all my other starters, it's like, Dylan, what the fuck is this thing? I love it personally, right? I love it. And, then, and, and yeah, like that right there eventually turns into this. But <clears throat> you go inside the starter, right? Boom, boom. You drop down and then you're inside of here. And now the magic with this base is that literally you could put this loot room over here, then TC over there. You can mix you can mix it up, right? So I recommend you to do that and uh, kind of go against what the tutorial says and to literally swap out what's inside the vault. Move TC over to there, like, just because, right? Like, why not, right? So, yeah, this right here is the starter, and then it kind of forms into, like, this right here. So then the base starts to look a bit, a bit better, for sure. It starts to kind of have this type of shape. And uh, we have a wood wall here because, again, this is a wall that you're going to have to destroy and then to make the large furnace, which is optional. But, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and get into how to make this thing. I'm excited to rock it throughout this year of 2023 and see how it treats me. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this thing. First things first, you're going to be wanting to find a relatively flat spot, as you kind of need to with most base designs. Two triangles. And then you're going to do three triangles off of that triangle instantly just like that, right? Very, very simple. Then you're going to have a triangle here, triangle there. So you should have something that looks kind of like this right here, right? Very, very simple. Now there's going to be a couple walls that you want to leave wood because they're going to be temporary and you're going to be expanding out of them later on, right? So let's go ahead and start adding all these walls here around the entire thing except for where the front door is going to be. So just add walls right here. Do not add walls right here and here. Just add a wall right here. Upgrade this one right here to wood and that one right there to wood. Very, very simple. The two walls that both touch the door frame are going to be upgraded to wood. The door itself will be upgraded to stone and everything else will be upgraded to stone now. And then all of the floors on top of the base will also be upgraded to stone. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because you need to make this decision as you make this thing. Uh, it's actually not that tricky, so don't make it tricky for yourself. But it, you know, like in the tour over there, I put TC right there. And I am telling you, try to not do every single thing that I do when you're able to not do it, right? Both the sides are the exact same. You can put TC right over there just to mix it up. Just so people that find this video and figure out your base design that you're rocking as a YouTube base... They're going to be thinking the TC's right here because this is where I put it th uh, throughout the tutorial. So I ask you, put it over there so that they are like, huh, are they going to follow the tutorial or are they not? I don't know. Let's leave it to the Raiders and let's confuse the fuck out of them, right? So uh, if you're putting TC over there, just follow what I'm doing here. It's really, really easy. 
put down a half wall, put down a frame, destroy the half wall, and then rotate your TC like this, and put it right there. Very, very easy. You can then upgrade that right there to stone, and you can also put down a window right here if you want to. You don't have to do that right away, though. You can just leave it open for now if you want, but we're going to put down a window, I guess. And then you can put down some boxes over here. And I'm not going to be doing the furnishing throughout this whole thing. I'm just doing it right here at the start just to kind of help people out and give them an idea on how to start this whole thing out, right? So then you're going to be putting down, like, your bag. You can put down, like, your Tier 1 bench right there. Um, a furnace can go down, like... Uh, right here, right? So, and then let's say that you're all done for the day and you're done, right? First things first, be sure that this foundation and this foundation are both upgraded to sheet, if not high qual, because you do not want someone going through your front door then picking down or just seeing this plain foundation is a stone foundation then picking down. So make sure that they're at least sheet before you get off just to avoid people picking down and gaining access to your vault, right? And then as soon as you are uh, re uh, ready to get off, make sure that you do have a bag that you're able to respawn on inside there. Then you can put down this half wall with the hard side facing you, and then a floor, upgrade it to stone, and now they literally have to go through a stone wall no matter what, right? Or they can pick down through sheet, but that's not going to be fun, trust me. And if it's armored, then it's just, yeah, they're definitely not going to do it. And then you end up getting on the next day, F1 killing through console, spawning on your bag, destroying this. Then boom, it's another new day, and it's time to start expanding and having some fun, right? Oh, yeah, then also, of course, add some doors, and then, you know, add uh, add, add, add this door frame right here that's wood, just because it's going to be a temporary door frame. Everything that's upgraded to wood is temporary that you're later going to replace with something else, right? So this wood wall, you're going to be destroying this and then adding a triangle, wall, wall, wall. This right here is where that locker was in the tour. And then over here, you're going to be destroying this wall just with tools around your base or craft up some uh, machetes. You're going to destroy this and then add a triangle onto it. Wall, wall, wall. Floor, floor. Upgraded all the stone. And then boom. And then you have this loot room right here, which is very, very easy to make. You just go like that. Destroy this. And then you just start placing down your boxes and upgrading this right here to stone. And all that jazz. Now you come out here, and it's time to start making uh, the airlock area, which is unbelievably simple. It always is. It's the same airlock that I've been rocking for like a few years now. Maybe a couple years. I don't know about a few, but yeah. It's just four triangles, just like that. Add that on. Add a frame right here. Add a door here. Um, add a wall here. Make sure that wall right there is wood. Unless you're not going to be doing the large furnace thing. If you're not going to be doing the large furnace thing, just make it stone and uh, call it a day at that point, right? With that wall. <clears throat> Which even if you make it stone, you could pickaxe it out or jackhammer it out later and add a door there, right? Um, then you can add all these floors right here and also add a door frame here. Door here, door here. Um, you're going to be wanting to have your doors like like whatever your front doors are right like your front two doors whether uh like whether if it's this right here let's say this right here is still your front door and you don't have anything outside of it you're gonna want this second door opening up into this so that no one can get in and go deep on you it's very very basic stuff but new players obviously you know like you guys need some help right so that's just like a very small tip uh, to follow, make sure that this door opens up into this door frame. And then as you progress forward with doors, you can then make it to where this door right here, for example, um, opens up this way just to make it more convenient to run through your base, right? Because uh, that is ideal. But when it comes to your front doors and people killing you with your front doors open, you want to have it like this, right? I feel like I probably just now over uh, over explained that. I apologize. But now you can go in and get a metal shop front, craft that up, put it down right here. It's a default BP, so it's always something that I like to just use. Some people ask me, why don't you just use the reinforced windows? Because it's a tier 2 BP and I don't always have that BP when I'm expanding out this front part, right? So then you could just place down like a furnace or something to climb up. It's really, really easy. And then you could add a double door frame, some walls, upgrade it all to stone. And then you can put down a garage door, a double door, whatever you really have, and then, uh, boop. Then you have this. But, uh, at this point, you're probably going to be wanting to get started on the second floor, because, well, that's just what comes next, right? So first things first, you're going to be filling in this triangle gap, and this triangle gap, and this triangle gap right here, all with triangles. Very, very easy. Okay, and then, boop. Now we have this shape right here, right? So now let's say that you're ready to start expanding up to the second floor. Um, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and start doing this. All right, freeze frame. By the way, 
I'm just coming in right now as I'm editing and just kind of letting you know I don't upgrade the base and show how to progressively upgrade it as you go. So be sure that like when you're at like this stage, make sure that your entire vault is like full sheeted up, right? Be sure that you're upgrading throughout time and not getting too greedy. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. <clears throat> so the second floor is only made up of these walls right here. That's it. This this right here is your entire second floor. And so like that's kind of like what I was saying uh, with the base isn't there anymore because I unloaded it. But <clears throat> the second floor is not using as many floors as the downstairs does because this right here is still, you know, like your vault. So like your vault is made up of not this right here because we just now filled this as honeycomb. But those two triangles, those two triangles are still part of your vault. And the fact that we have all this right here moved over is huge. So you can start upgrading all of these walls here, obviously. Very, very simple. And then at this point, you're probably going to be wanting to start uh, getting honeycomb down for the uh, the vault down below, which we're going to be uh, going over that here in just a minute. Until then, though, let's go ahead and fill up everything except for this right here. This right here is going to be your next door that goes up uh, up to the next floor, which is going to be your window floor. So, yeah. Everything else can be upgraded to stone, though. Temporary way to get up. Do this, do this. Boom, you're good. And then you could upgrade this, 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 and then boop, seal it off. And then you end up with this, right? The only thing that is not elevated up are these back five triangles. So now it's like, okay, I need to get some honeycomb down because my vault is extremely vulnerable. Do not worry, my friend. We got you covered, all right? <clears throat> so triangle, triangle on this side right here. Front doors here. We're going to be adding two triangles there. And then triangle, triangle. Not a triangle in the middle, though. And so, yeah. We just ended up placing down a total of six triangles, two on each side, and then one on each side of the back here. So uh, you can just go ahead and just put floors above these and just, you know, put down like a wall in the center here and just upgrade it all to stone. It's really, really easy. Boop, boop. And there we go. See, so now we have that. And so now this right here kind of shows you how much extra protection the second floor has compared to the bottom floor. Now the bottom floor is still okay. It's still honeycombed, right? When they boom into like the back here, they're not gonna be getting any type of second floor loot, which I love about this base because I feel like second floor, I mean, it's I mean like it's just obviously a lot less vulnerable, which I love. Um, but now you're gonna be raising up all this honeycomb because it's literally just honeycomb for the second floor due to, uh, due to the people that rock it from the back of the base. So yeah. Yeah, just like that, and then just upgrade all of it to stone. And ideally, if you could, just because these walls inside of here are no longer going to be accessible after you put floors up top, try and upgrade some of them to sheet just to, you know, just to increase the protection because you're never going to be able to access these walls right here again. So um, I'm just going to make them stone for now, but I would... You know, you know, like, if you have, like, extra metal frags, then I'd recommend, yeah, to uh, make these walls right here sheet, ideally. And then you just add some floors on top of everything here. Upgrade it all to stone, and, well, you know, easy peasy. Now, I guess that at this point is going to be where I do the large furnace thing. Uh, again, this is optional, so feel, so feel free to skip it. I'm going to have the timestamps down below. And uh, it'll just be continuing after I do the large furnace, which is going to be everything pretty much the same. But if you are going to be doing the large furnace, great. I'm excited for you to join me this wipe with having a large furnace attached onto your base like it's 2017 still. We're going to be placing a foundation down like this. And again, th this uh, this wood wall is going to be the entrance into it, right? So it's going to be like this, right? <clears throat> We're going to put down a triangle there and a triangle right here. You're going to be wanting to upgrade both these right here to sheet as soon as possible so that people cannot pick them out and get access to your large furnace. Then you're going to be putting walls around everywhere except for right here because you're going to need to be peeking from right here to put down the large furnace. Then after the large furnace is down, then you can uh, put down a wall, right? Now you can destroy all these floors and the stability of everything holds up a lot of these walls so we don't have to put down floors everywhere, right? Which is, uh, yeah, pretty helpful. And you're also going to be wanting to put down um, one full wall on top of this and then half walls on top of that. So yeah, that is that. And then you can just start upgrading all this right here to stone if you want. You're going to have to like climb up to your base to 
get all this other stuff. You're obviously not going to be flying like me. Yeah, this build server is lagging today, man. It's already went down twice as I've been trying to make this video. So, you know, it's been it's been pretty fun. But now the large furnace gets to get placed. And the reason that, that you want to place it from out here, because you might just think, Dylan, just let me just destroy that wall and then place it. You can't adjust the height of it from inside the base, which kind of makes it difficult. At least I didn't find a way to. So this seems to kind of be like the best way. So you just want to kind of make it to where you're going to be able to loot it um, from that spot without having to like dip down into the furnace room, right? So we're just going to line it up as best as we can with that wood wall, kind of like kind of like that right there right and so now you can instantly just go like this this upgrade upgrade and then everything's fine right come inside here take out a tool destroy this then you can like climb up here add this half wall and add all the frames and again to get the to get the floor grills for these frames you can easily get them inside the tier one tech tree it's actually it, it, uh, it really doesn't cost too much to get to so that's why i thought uh hey this is actually not too bad of an idea so then you can just start filling in all these uh, frames here with this, and then, boop, now you got this. Then you can just place down a double door frame, upgrade it to stone, upgrade it to sheet, whatever. And then, uh, and now we have the large furnace attached onto the base. It's definitely in a little bit of a weird spot. It's going to throw some people off. Listen, guys, let's put our OCD to the side, okay? This shit is worth having, and I like it. But now it is time to start working on the window floor, my friends, okay? The window floor, so... Triangle, triangle, square, square, you know, like stupid easy. And then you're going to go uh, square, square, uh, triangle, triangle. Then also triangle, triangle, triangle frame. This right here is what we're looking like, right? This right here is what we're looking like. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and start upgrading these to stone. You could upgrade them to sheet if you're worried about people picking up through them, but... Throughout me and my solo journey, I uh, they're not even going to be receiving anything if they do that, so I'm good. Then you're going to be putting down a single door here and a single door here, right? In both of those two spots. And then we're also going to be putting down a single door right there. Whether if you have the large furnace or not, you should still add that just because it can just add a quick way out and, you know, get eyes on your front door, drop down on your front door. I mean, like, you already have eyes on your front door from here, but, you know, just like, I don't know, like, I like having these doors to just, like, have a quick way out. Uh, it can be nice because then you can just like leave right here and just scale down the wall and Yeah, I like to have those I've been incorporating them more in my recent designs over the years But now you are gonna be putting down on like these uh, Acute triangles you're gonna be putting down doors on the right side of each of them just like so um, And yeah, and then everywhere else on top of this roof is going to be windows, except for on top of the large furnace. Which, I mean, I guess that you could always just add windows on top of the large furnace as well, and then just add more floor grills with frames above it just to make it harder to raid. You could do that. You can literally do that. I actually just now thought about it. I'm just going to do it for the tutorial's sake. Screw it. Let's just do it. <laughs> and by the way, uh, if you do have the large furnace, I would just get rid of this door frame right here. But if you don't have the large furnace, keep this door here and just add a window right here. And that'll be that for you, right? Like, that's, you know, yeah, yeah, like, it's going to be really, really simple. But if you do have the large furnace, just get rid of that shit. And this shit right here can just be a part of, like, your windows to look through and whatever, right? And you could even add, like, another single door right here. Screw it. Let's just do it, right? Let's just do it. This is actually, like, like I'm learning more about this basis. I'm making it. But right here above it, you're going to have to make more of these uh, frames, right? Which is cool. That's fine. It's not hard to do that. Because then that actually gives your large furnace a lot more protection, which is amazing. It gives it double protection. So yeah, nice. Now we're just going to be filling up the entire uh, roof right here with triangles, though. And also adding windows everywhere. So then we start to get to like this middle point here, and like you can't build anymore. Keep in mind that we're actually not done with the doors up here. There's going to be a single door here and a single door here. With walls going down right here. So, yeah. And you can start to attach the triangles. Leave it open right here in the center because this right here is going to be where you come up. Your garage door is going to be right up here. And, yeah, let's go ahead and just start upgrading literally everything right here to stone. Oh, server's lagging. And then, of course, you can add your uh, floor grills here. And, uh, yeah. Also add a sheet door to right there. And then just start adding your doors all over and just make sure that, uh, yeah. 
Make sure that these ones right here are open because if you end up leaving them shut, well, people that get on top of your base can just come right here and then just drop inside. So if you have them like this, people can't drop in. But people can drop like this and then and then a teammate can boost on their head to boost them inside. So if you really want to go this far, this is all optional. You're able to learn these things called siren lights and you're able to just put them down like right here, which... Uh, which will stop people being able to get in. So that's all optional. I'm personally probably not going to do it as a solo player just because I'm not that worried about it. But if that's something that interests you and you're going for like absolute perfection, best base type of shit, then yeah, I would recommend doing it. Let's go ahead and finish upgrading this way to get up to our top floor real, real quick though. All right, cool. Nice. I'm actually really happy that I thought about this large furnace thing and just extending out the roof to this spot. That was 100% worth it. And I didn't even realize that as I was building this thing. And look at me, I missed some doors. Silly goose you, Dylan. Slacking on the tutorial. Great. Um, and yeah, boom, man, there we go. The only spot that, that uh, you don't have eyes on is over here on the outside of the large furnace. This is the only spot, which now since we have this door, we kind of do. So if you're trying to avoid people like hugging your base, you could just add some metal barricades on the outside here if that's something that interests you. But if you don't have the large furnace, you have coverage on all angles of the base. From, uh, yeah, you have this side, you have this side, then you're gonna have the ladder hatch right there that looks down this side, this side, yeah, yeah, like you're good. And that right there is pretty much the base, besides the minicopter spot, which is gonna be right here. Extremely simple to make. It just goes around six triangles like that, hexagon, and yeah, go ahead and start upgrading all this now. Now, do keep in mind that I am going to be leaving all the upgrading and stuff to you. You're able to go back to the tour to see exactly how everything is upgraded. Um, but yeah, man. I am very, very excited to use this base throughout 2023. Let me tell you, man. I cannot wait. And uh, I guess that real, real quick, I'm going to show a very, very quick tutorial on how to make an external TC that is disconnectable, right? Let's go ahead and just walk up to our base. Now, you can do this on any angle that you want. There's probably... Again, like, I'm not a fucking builder, but, you know, like, I can help you out with, like, absolute, like, just just straight up basics. So we're going to go ahead and uh, come over here and add an external TC that comes up to the base, like, right there. And just place down that triangle. It's very, very easy. <clears throat> now you're going to be going down like this, and then you're going to add a wall here. Then you're going to go, like, wall, or a uh, floor, 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 triangle, and then you're able to place down a TC right here, right? So upgrade this right here to stone. Put down a half wall uh, right here. Half wall again. Full wall. And then a floor, right? Upgrade it all to stone. Place down your TC uh, like that. Be sure to put a, put a code lock or a key lock on it. So then you have that. Then you can just connect it like... Uh this here then you can destroy all these floors here upgrade this to sheet this to sheet this to sheet just to avoid people picking it out stone 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 and then yeah this right here is your extremely extremely basic disconnectable tc and be sure to look inside your tc and upkeep it accordingly um but yeah man like you could put like three of these things around your base uh however you really like and then as soon as people destroy your main TC inside of here, boom, one of these will take over. Having at least two is ideal. Let's say that you get raided, your TC's gone, right? You come over here, you, all that you would have to do is put down a floor right here and then a roof going off that floor. That then disconnects it, then you're able to put down a new TC inside your base. Then after you put down a new TC inside your base, you can then come back outside, get rid of this and this, put down this and... One minute, one minute, one minute. You have to go like that right there and then boop boop destroy destroy upgrade upgrade and then you have a new external tc all over again that is how you disconnect it and yeah and i actually did not show you during this building tutorial on how to like put down walls inside the second floor uh room here and it's very very simple you literally just add um a wall here and a wall here and then a wall there upgrade it and a wall here upgrade it and then that is it that's really it for second floor it's actually really really easy so um, and then right here is again like a four box loot room, four box loot room there. You can always go back to the tour to really see exactly like where everything's at. But I'm going to trust you with upgrading this thing over time, okay? Don't just leave it all stone. I mean like if you just want to make this thing entirely stone on first day, go for it. 
but you want to try upgrading a lot of this stuff to armor before you even you know get like your honeycomb and stuff down like you know what i mean and if you made it here to the end of this video comment optimistic why optimistic because it's a new year let's feel optimistic man it's easy to feel pessimistic and negative because guess what the world that we live in is pessimistic and negative so don't don't let that energy drown you down too much man stay optimistic stay positive stay focused and uh that's gonna be how we move this culture and evolve in a more positive direction i feel like you know so so yeah i'll see you in the next video i appreciate you and your time again and yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how this base works throughout uh, throughout my future wipes in 2023. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, and bye-bye uh, now, dear.